Hello children, welcome to general science class. Today I am going to give some introduction about your new chapter that is chapter 9 the living organisms characteristics and habits. What is your chapter name? The living organisms characteristics and habits. Here observe children the living organisms. So many various kinds of organisms are present in universe okay on earth so living organisms means here anything any living being which that has some structural uh, structural uh, pro processor which can helps to uh, take food to reproduce for growth and development so for respiration for stimuli these all uh, features if the organism possessing we call that is a living organism means the living organisms characteristics means what are the features which helps to reproduce the same organism and to growth for growth to develop the growth uh, development of growth and to stimuli and to certain features the if the organism contains consist of we call that is a characteristic or feature so the living organisms and those organisms possessing showing containing consist of some features that we called characteristics and habits habits means here the per one one region means so what are the habits what are the features which have helps to leave certain organism in certain different different conditions that is a habits means so many habits suppose I have one type of habit and you have certain different habits compared to me and others means all the living organisms are not possessing not containing same habits for example if one uh, habits means here suppose for example food how the organisms taking food all the animals are taking food like same similar no some animals are depending on other animals means here the habits means here we can say uh, producers um, uh, decomposers and means here the plants mainly the living organisms all are uh, depend, uh, depend on plants because plants are the uh, main source of food so afterwards animals will eat other animals we call carnivores and plants only the animals eating plants we call herbivores and who web the animals uh, who uh, eating both animals as well as plants we call omnivores means here we are having in uh, on the earth the organisms uh, consist of different different of food habits that's why what are the uh, the living organisms whether containing same food habits or they are ha they are having different food habits that the living organisms and their features which helps to live their life are uh, the, to increase for evolution to increase their number and also evolution and their habits what are the habits they are showing and what are the habits they are contains so this this is the whole lesson you are going to learn okay so first what are the important points we should uh, learn from this lesson the living organisms characteristics and habits organisms and the surroundings where they live means here we have different different climatic condition not only not only in world throughout India we can observe different different climatic conditions and different different seasons also okay so in those uh, climatic conditions based on these climatic condition what are the animals what are the living beings if they are living in such as climatic condition how they will live what are the features they contains what are the uh, different difference is there bit, uh, compared to other animals too which are living in other climatic conditions next habitat and adaptation habitat means here the atmosphere the environment the uh, the surrounding our surroundings we call the habitat okay so different different uh, habitats we can observe so in the, uh, those habitats how, what are the which type of animals can, uh, living and uh, they how the animals adopting such certain climatic conditions means how because for example if you here uh, in uh, Andhra Pradesh one type of climatic conditions are there in Karnataka one type of climatic conditions are there if uh, compared to South India to North India different climatic conditions are there so white uh, white tigers okay white tigers if you want to see you have to go to Dehradun or some uh, mountain uh, clim climatic places then only you can observe the white tigers in zoo parks yes we can observe but the real habitat of those white tigers is the mountain 
mountains which are containing cold climatic weather conditions so it means here why these animals we can observe only in mountaining and that to so much cold conditions and why we are not at all observing such type of different white tigers or other animals uh, which we cannot observe here in our surroundings means that that is called habitat means based on this habitat only we can see different different birds animals and other living organisms also okay so how the animals living in such a uh, different conditions and what are the features they having to adopt these habitats that is uh, we are going to learn from second point next different habitats means here different habitat means here uh, the north po uh, polar regions okay polar regions terrestrial rainforest region hot and dry conditions cold and wet conditions so these are some other conditions and not only the weather conditions during the seasons and during the uh, atmospheric conditions how the animals can live and how they will adopt these uh, habitats to survive their lives that is a uh, different habitats for example deserts yes and mountain regions and green uh, grasslands means here if you observe some other animals only in the place of desert means in desert climatic conditions only for example camels okay camels we can uh, we can observe in rajasthan why because that is a desert condition that's why we can observe those uh, camels in desert con desert places only so these place these animals camels why camels we are uh, we, we can observe only in desert places why can't we uh, observe these camels in other climatic conditions that is a different habitat because these animals adopting some climatic conditions some features having some characteristic to live in such a uh, particular climatic whether that is a desert condition same as mountain regions mountain regions means for white tigers and some tigers cheetahs so these are the some mountain regions animals we can observe in mountain regions bears so these we cannot observe in desert places why what what is the reason behind that how why the animals not living in such uh, desert conditions what is the features the animals should contain should possess consist of Th those uh, not contain not possessing in desert conditions next come to grasslands grasslands you can observe different elephants okay for example compared to india um, indian elephants to african elephants african elephant the size is big and they have very big tusk so why what is the difference between same animal here elephant and there also elephant but the structure wise the structure wise are the same but some other features like ears tusk and the size of the elephants are very big compared to uh, other climatic condition so uh, different habitats and different uh, features what the animals consist of in this point we are going to learn next some aquatic habitats sea oceans lakes ponds what are the different different type of aquatic animals and insects and microorganisms which are present in aquatic conditions and in uh, seas uh, why the sharks and seas uh, ca uh, cannot uh, live in rivers what is the main reason why the uh, sea water is salty why not river water means the, here so many uh, changes are there from in aquatic region also why we cannot observe some different fishes which we can observe in ponds which we we uh, those fishes we can observe in seas or oceans that is we are in this point we are going to learn and the last point is characteristics characteristics of organisms means here every living organism consists of some characteristics which helps to survive their lives like uh, for suppose food how the organism for, suppose for example humans we take humans are so many uh, food habits we are consist of for example some are vegetarian some are non vegetarian so what is the means here the type, type of food taking process is very different from each other some will eat only vegetable some we eat both vegetables as well as meat so here the food taking process based on this feature food taking we can differentiate whether they are carnivores herbivores or omnivores like that we can uh, differentiate this food is a very very characteristic feature based on this food taking process we can differentiate type of the living organism and the growth means from a chicken to uh, a chicken growth from an egg means a egg to a chicken how the development is there how the growth we can observe from egg egg to chicken 
so this is the growth factor so based on this growth factor we can say a living organism is what type of living organism whether this is the animal or and uh, we can we can uh, say this uh, life span also based on okay because all the living organisms not consist of same type of life span the period between birth to death so every animal every living organism uh, showing different different life spans so based on this characteristic we can differentiate living organisms next respiration so when we inhale air it will uh, we can take air from outside to inside to our body when we breathe out we the air will go out from our body to outside this process we call respiration correct so what are the animals can respire so what are the conditions they can respire so due, based on this respiration process we can differentiate living organisms next stimuli stimuli means uh, we respond living organisms respond to uh, activities for example if you touch any fire immediately you will take out your hand that is called a stimuli if any ant bite or any snake bite you also you, you will take your hand or anything uh, to, to respond by that is that respond we called a stimuli so based on these some of the important characteristics we can uh, differentiate the living organisms whether consist of or not and every living organism consist of such type of characteristic and what are the conditions uh, what is the uh, condition and what is the uh, survivalness to live their life so these are the some pre reading uh, introduction pre, uh, some pre reading activity and introduction of your next uh, new chapter that is uh, the living organisms and uh, characteristics and habits i hope all of you understood thank you